Hi everyone, it's Plastic EP here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome back. We got Clay Sayer, part two, and he's going to go through his fantastic monster collection. I got to tell you, Clay, the response we're getting from your part one uh, monster collection, it's world class, is fantastic. So you should be really happy with that. Super, super. Glad people are enjoying it. They're loving it. So let's get straight into it now. Okay. And well, let's see the other half of your collection. Well, the first thing we got to take care of is something that you wanted to see. So let's get over here in the cabinet. Um, let me shine some light in here. Uh, do you recognize that little box there? The coffin bank. The coffin bank. There it is. <laughs> Are you able to grab the box? Hmm? Can you grab the box, pick it up, or you can't? Oh, I can grab it. Okay, thanks. There you go. Let's have a good look. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for showing me that. That's my favorite item. <laughs> okay, since we're in this cabinet, let me uh, yep. move some things back. Um, we can go ahead and look in here. Yeah, um, let's go for it. We've got... Uh... Okay. Okay. Um, we got some flicker rings right there. Yep. Um, just different rings. Um, there's some uh, uh, monster nicks back there, which are the kind of like troll little bodies uh, with uh, monster heads. There's a Wolfman, a Frankenstein, and a, uh, a King Kong. And then they sold the same things as uh, weirdo necklaces. And little header cards. That's great. Just show me the header card there. The, yeah. Show me the top bit. Yeah. I Look like at looking that. at your artwork. That's great. Ten cents. Ten cents. <laughs> um, these are some other um, little what they called uh, monster wallets. These little things open up and there's tiny dollar bills in there. Um, and then uh, behind that is a monster candy front. To one of the candy boxes, very, very hard to find. Um, and then um, going up here, uh, there's a little sl uh, slide tray puzzle. Yeah, they're great. Uh, some more charms. Uh, there's a, uh, <laughs> since you're a Dark Shadows fan, that's from the Barnabas Collins van. That's Barnabas in his coffin. That went in the back of the little van that they sold. Little model kit. Um, this is a um, a casting and then a mold from the M and E Castex monster set. That's a Wolfman. Uh, yep. There's the Frank, and uh, that's the mold. And then he's in there. These are um, uh, kind of like a wax compound. Is what those were cast in. Uh, these are Moldorama Frankenstein pieces from a, uh, a Moldorama machine where you put money in it at a theme park and then it pours hot wax into a mold and you walk away with a souvenir. That's what those are. I have a a um, full body Frank, but he had a mishap. His head came off. Okay. So, um, then there's some uh, some other figures back there. Uh, these are. We'll see these later. Um, these are the copper plates that went in the 60s Aurora coppersmith kits, which is where you put copper on a uh, on one of these and then rub it, and you get a copper rubbing. Uh, this is the Dracula and the Frank. Those are the original molds that went in it. Um, and then I'll, later I'll show you I have some of the, the copper pieces themselves. Um it's a Mr. Softy um, ice cream iron on premium for the creature. Um, and then a little tiny, I think this comes from Japan, a little Dracula wind up um, that's in there. So let's uh, go up to the next case. I'm going to have to move, uh, move around the table here. That's fine. Um, this case um has a lot of um kind of just uh movie premium giveaways and stuff like that that i like um 
we'll start here. Let me uh, I'm have to switch the cabinet here. Um, and shine some light on here. Uh, these are ad mats for Revenge of the Creature, which are uh, kind of a composite that they use to print uh, for newsprint uh, newspapers. And, and um, I don't know, can you see that? Yep. Can you see that okay? Yep, no problem. Okay. Um, to print in the newspaper, to do all the ads in the newspaper. Um, that is a, uh, for the movie, um, 13 ghost, a ticket. Um, this was a theater. This was a re-release, but a theater, um, kind of a, a little marquee advertisement. Um, these, uh, tickets are for, uh, vintage spook shows that were at the theaters. Those are tickets. Uh, that's a green slime bumper sticker and button. For the movie The Green Slime, Twilight Zone, Blade Runner, Star Trek The Motion Picture, Medusa from Clash of the Titans, and then a Godzilla versus Megalon button for the theater. Um, this is uh, some stuff for you talked about um, the horror host earlier. This is Paul Bearer. Um, and these are, um, I think he's up at uh, New Jersey, I think, or massachusetts up north no he's in florida i think i think he was in florida okay um and these are our promo things from him including that is a um that lasting mold <laughs> scare spray is a prop from the show where they dumb it up something um down here we have um this is a, a theater promo uh, for upcoming shows and then a pair of 3D glasses for a showing of the creature. Um, this was a TV showing of the creature, these two, and then one's a video, uh, 3D glasses. And then this is 3D glasses from the theater for the movie Parasite. Um, some other little promos. One, uh, a, a foreign little promo for This Island Earth back there. Yep. These are the uh, unused um, 45 labels for a promotional thing that uh, for the radio where they'd send them to the radio stations and play the, the bits and commercials and interviews and things like that for Dr. Sin. Uh, this is a uh, exploitation promotional uh, manual for the movie Straight Jacket, the uh, Joan Crawford movie. Uh, and back there, some video promos. Um, this is a big plaster <laughs> statue of Frankenstein. Um, let me move this over here so you can kind of see him down there. Um, he broke in shipping, unfortunately, so I have to repair him. Uh, this is a life cast of Glenn Strange wearing the Frankenstein makeup. He actually made a cast of him for the scene where he's in the coffin. And then, um, so he didn't have to lay in there while they were unpacking him <laughs> for those shots. Uh, and this is uh, a life cast of Bela Lugosi from uh, Return of the... This was taken for Return of the Vampire, uh, where for the melting scene at the end of the movie. Um, these are a bunch of uh, various Lon Chaney senior pieces. Uh Cigarette cards, tobacco cards, um, just uh, little giveaway cards and postcards. These are all um, tobacco cards here. Um, these are all from the uh, from the twenties. Amazing. Um, and uh, that is a uh, a vintage little handbill, a foreign handbill for. Uh, House of Frankenstein. Um, these are uh, drive-in tokens and little shows. Uh, there's one from the 70s for a showing of King Kong. A little wooden nickel. Uh, and this little silver bullet is from, I don't know if you remember the TV show Werewolf. Only I don't know if we've got it here in Australia, but it's on the internet, I'm sure, on YouTube. 
yeah, Chuck Connors was in it. Uh, yeah, that's a little promotional bullet for that TV show. Uh, there's one for uh, the movie Night of Dark Shadows. Uh, unused. That was a pin. Uh, this one is a witch finder uh, from um, the, the Lon Chaney Jr. movie Witchcraft. It's a little double-sided coin. Let's see if you can see it there. Yep. Um, that was a promo. Uh, this is another um, um, horror host uh, promotional thing. There's another ad map. This one for Ghost of Frankenstein. Um, there's a little uh, handbill, and I forget what movie's on that one. I think it's Creature is on that one. Um, these are uh, giveaway fangs for uh, Prince of Darkness, the Hammer movie <laughs> that they gave away from this. This is from 66. Um, Seeds of Satan. Uh, <laughs> a promotional thing. It's like the vomit bags that you see from Mark of the Mark of the Devil, and I've got some of those. Um, and some other little foreign handbills. Uh, this is kind of an interesting... This is a uh, lot um, pass to get on the lot uh, with what was filming. So if someone had to get on the lot. And on this particular day, July 1st, 1958 at Paramount Pictures, they were filming The Buccaneer. Uh, I married a monster from outer space, the young captives, <laughs> um, just different movies and it tells who was, uh, who was directing them and, uh, what the, the call number for that production is and stuff like that. That's a piece of history just there. Yeah. Just that, um, this is a, uh, little vacuum form shock monster mask. I make these. Yeah, that's great. Um, and let's go over to this one. Um, a lot of little little things here. So let me move my my light on over here. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I like little oddball things. Uh, of course. These, I don't know if you can see these. These are little pens made like film strips. Uh, and it's all classic movie imagery, creature, Frankenstein. There's one that has the psycho house on it. Um, you know, just a weird little thing. It's unused old store stock, I guess. Um, I know you're a fan of rat fink. There's some, yeah, I am. there's a, um, a rat fink charm. That's what those are. All three of those are, these are little gumball, Charms, different heads, um, monsters, rings. Yeah, all 60s, yeah? Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can focus this just a little sharper. That's right. I remember that little orange one there with the eyes. Yeah. Um, these are uh, PVC uh, figures of Groovy Ghoulies. Yeah, that's um, great. I'm and, a big fan uh, of that show. Yeah, I'm only missing... Uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> right. Hopefully you find him. Yeah, I got to I got to get him. And Hagatha. I don't have Hagatha. Um so two of them I got to I got to get. Um the top shelf is a uh um Bernie Wrightson, uh the artist Bernie the comic artist Bernie Wrightson. That's a holographic card and then these are some signed Frankenstein cards. Uh, of course the late Bernie Wrightson now. He's a big influence on me as far as artwork goes. Uh, these are two color separations from the 60s tops cards uh, for a, a creature uh, art. That's the black art and the yellow art uh, for the printing process. Um, these are, uh, of course, candy boxes, little uh, bootleg figures, a Dracula and a, a wolfman. From Mexico, um, various other little figures, uh, pencil toppers and charms, uh, erasers. Um, there's a little candy mold or something there, Play-Doh mold maybe. Um, some more figures, Kong, gorillas, um, 
more rat fink, some little glow in the dark figures there. Um, these are uh, Mexican monster stickers. Uh, beautiful artwork. I, I had one that I opened. Uh, let's see if it's here. Uh, must not be one of these. Um, I couldn't resist. I had to open one to see what the artwork looked like. <laughs> sure. Um, garish, beautiful artwork. <laughs> you know, um, and that's some sort of monster fizzy candy right there. Cool artwork. Uh, a creepy fan club button. And uh, this is a wood burning that someone did or uh, an etching um, of uh of one of the shock theater ads. So, um, up here, uh, Viewmaster, little poppers. Um, we had seen some of this stuff before. Um, right there's the Telco, a very rare Telco, uh, Phantom of the Opera. Um, there's the uh, the big alien, um, the Kraken from Clash of the Titans, uh, the big Godzilla. Uh, behind that is a Baylock head from the Star Trek, uh, from classic Star Trek. A friend of mine makes those, and I just painted that one. Uh, another friend uh, made this uh, um, Swamp Thing bust. And then uh, he also did this man thing bust over there for me. Um, and just different models, different uh, little things in there. Uh, of course, love the creature. So there's one of each head. There's the, the land head, the, the underwater head, the revenge of the creature head, and then creature walks among us right there. Now, these first three are cast from original molds. Um, one of them is really, really rough there in the middle. But this other one was a, a fan-made one that someone made. Um, so kids used to wear these, did they? Uh, no, not those. Okay. Not these. Uh, these are Don Post masks Okay. Uh, that people did wear. More uh, plastic masks. Uh, there's some pretty rare ones. There's a Space 1999 in there and some Star Trek. Uh, yeah, so Star Trek. Melting Man. Movie. Here's yep. a G.I. Joe, Super Joe Gore. Very hard mask to find. Um, let me uh, do this. Um, I have one wall of masks that's really just Saturday morning. So uh, Yeah, let's have a look at those. I want to have a look. That one up the top there, I remember that from Sid and Marty Croft. That was Sig Sigmund, wasn't it? Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. Is that right? That's right. So what's that one then? Let's test your trivia here. No, can you call them out for me? Because okay. <laughs> I'd rather you do it. I can right. see the green ghoulies there. Yeah, okay. That's the Slee Stack yep. right there from Land of the Lost. This yep. is the caveman is Korg yep. from the, the TV show Korg. That's Lancelot Link, Secret Chip. That's Chips. a beauty. My, one of my favorite shows. Oh, yeah. Um, and the that, monkeys, too. That was one yeah. of my favorite. That's uh, Count Chocula. Yep. Uh, then the Groovy Ghoulies. There's Drac, yep. who yep. I just got, and I just got Bella Ghostly. She hasn't arrived yet. Uh, Wolfie. Yep. Bonaparte. Yep. Uh, that is from Space Giants. That's Rodak. Yep. Uh, there's a gremlin. Um, back there is a uh, a Daggett. This one um, is interesting because this is the Paint Master. So this is hand painted. It has no copyright stamp in it. This was uh, before the thing ever went into production. This was just a painted up prototype. Um. Back in the back, these are Star Trek the Motion Picture masks. Yeah, Kirk Kirk and, uh, Spock. and this uh, alien here is a French mask.
from one of the aliens from Star Trek the Motion Picture. It's great. Um, this is uh, my full size Nosferatu, so you can see. It's great. Um, he's in need of some cleanup. Um, he's been moved from different shows and things, so he's uh, he's about due because he's starting to slouch. His head's starting to slouch a little bit from the weight, so. Uh, he's going to get uh, renewed. Um, this uh, this shelf here, there's uh, War of the Worlds, uh, Godzilla. These two figures, a shock monster and a uh, cyclops, a buddy of mine makes those. And he sent those to me, so I painted them up. Another nutty mad. Uh, Charles Edison... Frankenstein, someone did a like a Mego size custom figure that I picked up along the way. I thought it was so cool. Um, these things, let me get closer because uh, so we can get a good look at, at these guys. Okay. Um, another really dense um, shelf here. Um, Let's, let's I love that Saturday morning stuff. That was great. Um, yeah, I do love that. <laughs> uh, more figures. Uh, let me back up here. Um, little pop tops. There's a rat fink hiding in there. Yeah, great. Um, I see. Him. These are salt and pepper shakers. These two Frankensteins right there. <laughs> Uh, these little premiums, little miniature um, jack-in-the-boxes of monsters, water tattoos, the Wolfman of Frank and this uh, Cyclops. Uh, this was uh, this little weird Dracula is from Argentina. He was some sort of promotional for chocolate. Yep. Oddly enough, uh, Devil, there's some shrunken heads back there. Uh, these are pencil sharpeners of the Wolfman. Uh, that's one of those little pop things. Yeah, I remember those from the 60s. Yeah. Um, in here, we've got a, in the back, uh, in the very back, there's the Palmer monsters, the hard ones, in all the various colors. I don't have the blue ones. I have one blue, but uh, that's the hard one to get. Uh, and then the NPC monsters. Uh, in the front, um, and some of them have uh, decided to take a nap, apparently. Laying down on the job. Not getting paid yeah, well, there's plenty in there. It's great. Um, and then that's a um, pop-top head. Um, there. Where, did they get, where did you get most of those plastic models? You had to buy them, like, or they came in cereals or... They sold them in packets or separate at shops. Palmer's they sold uh, some of the um, the NPCs. They were sold. Uh, there were some promotions. There was a Frito Lay promotion with them. The um, and then they were packaged in different sets. Um, this one is uh, Sokies. Yeah, that's great. Call them out. Uh, we got Frank. We got the Mummy. Uh, creature, two different wolf bands because yeah, one right. has one has red pants and um, and one has blue pants. This is uh, Monster Squad Wolfman, little yep. rubber figure. Uh, yep. Of course, that's uh, the '60s Lurch figure from Adam's. Yeah, family. that's a beauty, Adam's family. Yeah. Um. This what is, year did uh, he come out? Sorry, what year did he come out, Clay? Would that have been 60s. 60? When did Adam's Family and Munsters come out? 65? 63 that came out. 64. 64. So that's probably yeah, I think 64. 64, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is Monster Putty. Yep. Uh, beautiful artwork. Look at that artwork. It's great. And then there's the skull and the putty is in it. You were asking earlier, where do I find this? I found this at an estate sale in a box. And they had some stuff in a um, 
in a hallway, some Matt Mason and G.I. Joe in the boxes, rough. I, who knows if it was complete. And it bottlenecked in that hallway, so you couldn't get through. So I went in another room, and some really good monster stuff was in there. Uh, some monster stuff, this, uh, some of those, uh, some of these I found in there, all kinds of stuff. And all these people bypassed all that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, lucky. so, some more masks here. Yep. Um, this is a, uh, uh, a cool little thing. Um, my uh, fiance had this commission from one of my students. Uh, he did this. This is a gouache painting, original piece of artwork he did for me uh, as a Christmas present. Who's on the cover? That's me. I oh, know. I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beauty. You got to frame that on the wall. Oh, yeah. I. He's going. He's going to go right here. I've got to get the finish getting it framed. Of course. Um, but uh, one of the nice things I got a lot of kids that give me art. And, um, so there's some more masks peeking in here. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. It's a Dracula. There's a yep. uh, a um, kind of like a Morlock slash uh, inspired from Time Machine. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, these are some Planet of the Apes masks. Yeah, that's great. Um, there's three of those. Zayas is down there. Yep. Uh, a wolf man. Uh, hiding back here is some fringe stuff. Not monster, but this is a an un uh, unpainted uh, vacuum form. All they did was trim the eyes out, but the rest of it hasn't been trimmed, and it's not painted. Uh, this one is painted, but not trimmed. Um, and you can see there's uh, from Electric Company, Fargo, North Dakota, and really monstrous is uh, the village people. Sure. And, and the, the village people. And then uh, there's a little Audrey 2 <laughs> uh, thing right there. These are some costumes. Um, yep. See down here, Grizzly. Yep. Um, Kids used to wear them for Halloween, yeah? Oh, yeah. And these are either I've got the mask hanging up. Yeah, of course. Um, in in most cases, there's a Godzilla one. Um, yeah. Another Dracula with the cape. Uh, a Strange Raiders of the Lost Ark one. Of uh, the, the Monkey Man, E.T. Uh, a lot of monsters. There's a Land of the Giants costume. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Can you pull that one out or you can't? Yeah, that's just the costume. I don't yeah, got the, uh, I yeah, don't have the mask one. yet for that one. That's a great TV show. Yeah. So um, then this is a, uh, of course, a light, light up Dracula. Yeah, that's a beauty. Decoration, a blow mold, big blow mold, beautiful. Um, these are. Uh, vintage makeup, Halloween yeah. makeup kits and stuff, 70s, 80s. Uh, you know, I love this stuff, of course. The uh, scary nails <laughs> with Frankenstein. Look at that, where they take the Aurora artwork and really work it over. I love that they, <laughs> they added nails so that they could sell it. Uh, this is sealed. Vampire blood. We all we all use some of that as kids. Uh, these little palettes. I, again, I love the artwork on these things. Mad Martian. Um, light up pins. Unbelievable. Um, I got to tell you, Clay, you're filming spot on. <laughs> um, these are some uh, another. Nutty Mad, right there. Yep. The Indian. Uh, these are some uh, more rings. Yep. Uh, vintage Halloween trinkets in there. Uh, little rubber monsters in there. Um, 
This one is uh, a neat case. Uh, another gift for my fiance. She took a trunk and turned it into a display case. It's great. Something uh, different. So, yeah. Um, and it has all my monster cereal stuff. So um, there's everything from records. Those are the 45 records. Let me see if I can open this up. Get rid of that glare. Okay. Um, if you can. Without knocking everything. Yeah, try over. not to knock anything. If not, just film it. It's okay. Okay. We can sneak in here. <laughs> all right. So. All right. Um, so there's the uh, the records, 45 records. Yeah. Team in the cereal. Uh, these are freakies. I don't know uh, if you remember that cereal. That's not so we didn't get in Australia. The four monster series. These are magnets. Yep. Uh, and then little uh, little figures, and then these little cars where you squeeze the the bulb on the back and it goes. A couple of them sealed. Uh, there's a little mask for Frankenberry. Um, and there's some sealed little toys. That one's a Count Chocula. There's another record. Um, this one has one of the punch out masks from the back of the cereal box. Uh, and this is all, some of it was mail away stuff. Yeah. Uh, like the, the uh, pencil bags there. Um, and then some actually came in the box or, um, let me try to move it just a little more, get some more light in there. Um, so that's pencil boxes. These are, um, I think a pencil holder and then the little mugs, the little tiki mugs in the back, they all stack up and make like a little tiki or a little totem pole rather. Yep. Uh, these are stampers. Rubber stamps. Um, that's a little car. Uh, Stand-up figures. A little decoder ring. Thing of, uh, I guess that's blueberry. Right there. Um, some of these guys are knocked over. Magnets. Uh, refrigerator magnets and, and erasers. Um <coughs> Let me pick some of this stuff up. So we can see what they're coming in crystal clear. Um this is a little flicker flicker ring. Um let's see if I can get it. Yep, I'll see it. Um there's those other figures. Um more of this stuff. Uh a little uh lapel pin, a metal lapel pin of Count Chocula. Um, so this is all 70s. It's great. Uh, these are the, the vinyl um, figures. So that's all four of them there, including Fruit Brute. Uh, and a little stamper. Uh, this was a box that got pulled. Uh, this particular year they did a, a two boxes like this. One was for Frankenberry and it had a Karloff Frankenstein. And then this one, uh, this one got pulled because of, uh, that right there. The star of David symbol. I understand. So that one got pulled for that one. So that's a, that is a, an original empty box. Um, and then, uh, some cards and then this was a, uh, I just got this the other day. Um, is an iron on, and uh, the back is like little disguise stickers. So um, amazing. Those are uh, these are masks uh, waiting to go on the wall. Sure. You know, Godzilla and um, who else is in here? Uh, James Bond from Moonraker. Yep. And that's seventies. Uh, that's uh, yeah, seventy nine would have been Moonraker. Uh, 
This is 60s. Uh, that is Lily Munster. Let's have a look at that one. Let me. Uh, yep. That's obviously pretty hard to find. Yeah, that's a hard one to find. <laughs> um, and uh, just a whole bunch uh, waiting, waiting to go on. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Yep. Okay. Um, this is just an interesting little thing. Uh, this is from a local spook show. Uh, carved out of foam, one big old piece of foam. And uh, I got I got that from the guy that that does the spook show because he's a friend of mine. But um, here we have. Uh, let me open these up so we don't have the reflection. Um, this is a seventies Wolfman paint by number. Yep, yeah, that's great. Uh, I like all this stuff. I like all the big stuff. Yeah, the puzzles. Yeah, the phantom uh, there looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, the cans and the uh, – look at that beautiful Basil Gagas creature artwork. There's yeah. a, a mummy, one of the mummy uh, things with that beautiful, <laughs> beautiful garish artwork. Look at this. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Metaluna Mutant, uh, Sakuda model back there peeking at a Dracula doll. There and then a uh, a Wolfman Sakuda. Um, these are seventies uh, monster scenes. Aurora. Uh, That's monster great. Scenes. Let's have a look at those. Let's yeah. have a close up on those. Quite. All right. Let me uh, let me switch hands here. I'm you should take hold, a talk. I'm having to hold the laptop. So um, of course, this is uh, the pendulum. Yep. Hanging Cage, uh, Pain Parlor, Gruesome Goodies, The Victim, and Vampirella. Uh, this Vampirella kit, uh, coincidentally, is my, was my grandfather's. That's fantastic. That's my favorite. I love yeah, that. I, I, uh, that came from him. Uh, Frankenstein and then Dr. Deadly. Uh, this is a a mounted uh, on on board uh, Halloween decoration, like to to mount on your wall or your door. That's huge. Or the Wolfman, yeah. Um, this is a store display of the monster scenes. So I have to back up here. Uh, That's it, right. It's missing the backdrop, but it's got everything else. So I'm in the process of. Um, fixing the box because it, it kind of sunk in over the years and refurbishing that one. So um, hang on just a second. Sure. Of course. Some sort of, some sort of pop-up got in my way. It's fantastic. I'm okay. loving it. You got a world class collection there to be proud of. Oh, well, thank you. This is uh, prehistoric scenes. Yep. Let's uh, have a this, close up of them. Yeah, uh, beautiful artwork. Yeah, that's what we're going to say. That's fantastic. Great. Uh, this is a, I just got this the other day, uh, a store display of these stickers, little puffy, kind of puffy stickers, weird artwork. So, um, in here, let's see, there's a little shelf here with just some stuff stuck in there. There's alien model. Yep. Um, these, um, you might like these. Let me, uh, uh <laughs> cash in on thriller, Michael Jackson's thriller. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, it's good. Uh, uh, that that one's a werewolf, and then there was uh, another one. Is the uh, 
the one they called Michael, which uh, isn't really him, but you know, just bootleg. Right. And they come, all of them came in this little coffin and stuff. Cool, cool little figures. Uh, these more makeup stuff. Uh, this was a thing I had as a kid to do your own Planet of the Apes makeup. It's great. And uh, when I was rebuying it, there I found out there was actually the white box, which I had, and then their black box, and then the one with Frankenstein. Is a Dracula. Dragstar, that's a rip of the. Yeah, that's that's an original in the box. Can you uh, get that out or you can't? Yeah, I can. I it's I can not too much trouble. Slide it out of there. Thank you. Might as well have a look at it. I know what it's like. The guy's on this little cart with a hat. He's wearing a hat. Yeah. It's like a cap. I've never seen that. There we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's right. He's wearing a cap, like I said, yeah. Yeah, they could. I see that in books. I never see that real. Fantastic. Dracula's Dragster. Dracula's Dragster. That is now, those uh, ones down there, I know they're very rare, rare, what you're showing me now. What do they call those green ones? 64. These are great Garloos. Yeah, they're rare, aren't they? They're hard to get. <laughs> the Big Lou is the the big one that looks like a robot, kind of a genie robot. I don't have him yet. I need him. Uh, but what I are they worth? They got to be worth quite a bit. Uh, yeah, probably three four hundred dollars a piece. In in this condition. Yeah. Uh, so there's two of those. Um, let me. Go down here for a minute. There's a uh, odd og. He was another one of those toys. Um, uh, it was a, a, a game, so <laughs> um do you, do you remember the green ghost game? Oh yeah, I've got it. It's we'll get to that. <laughs> um that's a robot commando. Yep. And right above it is the monsters cast X set. That's a hard, hard piece. I wish it was complete. It's not complete, but in any condition, it's hard to, to get. Um, there's some more model kits down there. Uh, yep. Strange change toy. It's great. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, there's Green Ghost. That's my favorite. That was huge in Australia in the 60s. Huge oh. game. Everyone bought that. Yeah, that's a great great game. Great game. Um, beautiful artwork on the box. Big box, too. Yeah. Uh, these are all costume, boxed costume. Yep. Um, so that goes on and on. Here's more of the Super 8s. Yeah, that's the best. My favorite of the Super 8s. And uh, including this one is one of the, the little gift packs still sealed where you got three right. movies. Uh, How do you find that? Some of these are uh, are sealed. A lot of them are sealed in here. Uh, there's a uh, the movie. <laughs> uh, and, and there's some other weird titles in here. Beast right. with five fingers, it. Mighty Joe Young. Yeah. Uh, and this one is the one that started it. Uh, when I said my grandfather would show me the uh, Phantom of the Opera, that's the one. So that's I, I got to keep that one. He gave it to me. It's amazing. Uh, when I was 16, he gave me that. It was a birthday present, it was my 16th birthday. Some more costumes. Um, yeah. More costumes. Uh, Castle Dracula. A collar form set back there. Uh, Fright Factory. This is for Thing Maker. Yeah, I remember that. And look at that artwork. Oh, that's right. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, this is a uh, down below. These are the um, the plaster casting bus set. Yep. Um, 
And if you ordered them from a catalog, this is the way they came. So two in a set, it was like a little gift, uh, set. You got two of them. Or you could buy them individually this way or as candles. So that's... Um, I love the artwork. All this looking at it, even though what they are, it's the artwork that stands oh, out from the top. Oh, and before style guides, you know, they could do so much. I mean, look, look at this thing. It's so goofy. But I love it. Yeah, me too. Look at this. Uh, look at the artwork on this Kong. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I love it. Um, this is a, uh, a Dr. Zayas cosplay costume that I picked up. <laughs> I'm going to do a figure yep. of that. Uh, uh, the pictures behind are screen prints that I did many years ago. There's a London After Midnight, right. uh, Phantom of the Opera, and a Nosferatu. Um, and then some, some various figures, including a Peter Cushing custom that somebody made. Fantastic. Uh, then... Uh, some artwork that I've picked up along the way from other artists. Um, this is one of mine. This is one of my pieces. That's great. I love the color. Thank you. Um, this is a casting of uh, Mighty Joe Young's uh, The Armature Head. Um, this was... Uh, Kind of a three-dimensional uh, display piece from, of Werewolf of London. So, yeah, someone had made um, these are those um, copper plates. Um, so I've got uh, there's all those, all four of them are right there. Um, let's see, back behind here are. We're almost finished. Uh, these are iron-ons, the Maniac iron-ons. It's fantastic. They're, they're rare. Yeah, still sealed. See, they Can sold I them. On, you, did on you that. collect Monster Records as well? Yes, yeah. Right. Got, uh, got some vinyl. I know you're a, a music guy so and an and a LP guy, so... Um. There's the mummy. I've got a mummy, a Dracula, a Wolfman, all complete. That's great. Of that set. Uh, this, this was a a big um, beer uh, advertising piece. It's made of foam. It's huge. It's and it great. went on top of a of a beer display. Um, these are some mannequins uh, wearing the costumes. Great. Trigger treating and uh, the trigger treating the right way with a bed sheet. <laughs> Great. Um, black light poster back there behind them, and, and there's the autographs. Um, yeah, I thought you'd like to see some of the vinyl. Yeah, I reckon we'll I reckon we'll do the vinyl, and I think that will take us out. Yeah. Um, one of the um, some of the titles in here. I'll try to get this. So uh, there's the uh, famous monsters speak. That's great. That's perfect right there. Yeah. Um, let me, uh, I've got an idea. I'm going to set this here. Sure. I think I can put it right in front. Yeah, gotcha. Each, That's better. There's no glare. Just yeah. a little bit back. Each one. And... Uh, that's fine right there. That's perfect. Okay. So, um, Famous Monsters Speak, that's uh, one that everyone remembers. Uh, Phantom of the uh, of the Harpsichord. Now, that's Phantom of the Organ and Vampire of the Harpsichord. These were ones, for those of us that used to see all these albums in the back of Famous Monsters all the time and, and Wish we could get them. Sure. Um, music for magicians. 
Fantastic. Uh, Tales of the Frighten, Karloff. Fantastic. I'm loving this. Monster Mash. Yeah, that's great. Um, another great 70s artwork, uh, Ghostly Sounds. Yep. Um, another one. Look at that. I, I don't know how many times I drew this Wolfman from the back of the... Uh, that's great. He's in the frame. That's great. Corner artwork. As great. Uh, Disney's... Chilling Haunted South House, and yeah. Haunted House. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and both versions, you know, a lot of people remember this version of the record. Yep. And then some even remember the, the white version of it. Um, scary, spooky stories. Yeah. Them. That's it. Perfect. Um, yeah, right there. Monster Shindig. Oh, that's a beauty. I Monster. like that with the Hanna Bera cartoons on them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Monster yeah, I remember that. The Monster Mash. Great. And then, and then a 70s version of it. Even better. Uh, this is Boris Karloff uh, doing uh, Inner Sanctum. Yeah. Uh, I've got a few of those. I've got you know, him doing different things. This is uh, the soundtrack to Of Mice and Men with Lon Chaney Jr. Yep. Same thing, uh, the soundtrack for Man of a Thousand Faces, the Lon Chaney Sr. story, uh, and the Vincent Price Master of the World. Um, and then I picked this up. This is uh, Karloff reads The Jungle Book, and we'll leave it with this. I saw sure. this. And the guy wanted, uh, I think it was 20 bucks or something. And I thought, why is someone asking for 20 bucks for this? Nobody wants <laughs> these things, really. And so I I don't even know why I clicked on the auction. But I happened to look at one picture, and I saw something, and I immediately bought it. And this is cool. what I saw in the picture. Of course, obviously. Anyway, Clay. I really yeah, want wait, to wait a minute. Can something. you see it? Yeah, there's a signature. That's it. You're laughing. Unreal. Clay, I want to thank you, you for showing it is. Monster Collection. Signed by Boris Karloff. Unreal. <laughs> That's <laughs> worth the 20 bucks just there. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Clay, I want to thank yes. you so much for your collection. Oh, my pleasure. Let's end with a nice shot. There. That's it. Let's get that last shot. Yeah, hold it there. Fantastic. So from Plastic EP and Clay Sayer, thank you very much for joining us. See thank ya, Frankie. You. See ya. See ya. I'm scared already. See ya. <laughs>